Okay, so this is a tutorial on how you can create a maze using the Tinkercad uh, software. And this maze you could use as a 3D print, or you could export it in a SVG file that could be used for a laser cutter. You could cut out the design and then possibly build the maze out of MDF or maybe even acrylic. Okay, so this is for the puzzle challenge hosted by Instructables. And I am going to use the Tinkercad software. We create a new design. And I started this by uh, using the scribble tool. Okay, so I could drag the scribble in here. And uh, not real sure the size of this, but as you finish the design, you can scale it up and down kind of how you want. I imagine this is about the size of a maybe a ballpoint pen. You know. uh, so it doesn't really matter where you start, but basically you can um, have a start and a finish. So maybe you'll use this uh, shape tool to create a start box. over here we can create a finish box like that and then it's just as simple as um, using your mouse and kind of dragging a, a maze around however you want And then I can uh, add some uh, additional paths here. I may have one a dead end paths here and things like that. And if you make a mistake, there's a eraser. And you can also, if you draw this in small segments, and you don't like your segment that you just drew, you can just undo the segments that you don't like. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a, a space just so that you know, I don't have, if I'm gonna 3D print this, I need enough kind of wall. All right, so I may just draw these in kind of smaller profiles. So this is the basic idea, and you can fill up this whole space, or you can, you know, however much of that you want. So if I did want to use this eraser tool, say I didn't like this little spot here, I could erase, you know, that part. There, I can go redraw you know, wherever I want. Okay, so there's the basic idea, and then when you're satisfied with your design, you can click Done, and that brings it into your workspace. And so, uh, basically, I just want to create a box, and so um, maybe I'll adjust the height a little too. So this is a uh, default was maybe 10, so I'm just going to set that maybe to I don't know, like five. And then I'm going to take this box tool and I'm going to create a box, but I want it to be shorter. Um, yeah, I want it to be shorter. Well, let me just going to say that the scribble was five, so I might make this a height of three. Okay, and then just kind of size that up however you feel. Get this from the top and just make sure everything's gonna fit the way we want. Okay, 
And then um, I'm going to raise up this uh, scribble. Whoops. All right, so the scribble right now is going all the way down to the work surface. So I'm going to raise the scribble up a little. Yeah, it's like one unit is fine. And then I'm going to set that, make it a hole. Yeah. And then I can uh, select all. So I can either hold down shift and, and select both objects or I can do control A and that selects everything. And then I'm going to group them. So there's a grouping tool. Uh, and I use, use control G for group. Try to select everything and then control G groups that. And I think the grouping's right here. Yeah. All right, so then that kind of, um, using that hole, uh, forms that little groove for your marble. And then you can add some text if you want to put, you know, start and finish in here. So I can, uh, of course that's way too big. All right, start. I'm going to change the color. Let's scale that down. Still way too big. Way too tall. And I probably should have before I even did that, maybe um, just uh, I have this group to scale that up. Okay, now my text is way too small again. But uh, so, whatever size you want, and uh, it's 125 millimeters. So, um, you know, maybe for your 3D printer, think about how big your print bed is. I'm going to get my start there. Okay. And I can put finish. I can control copy this uh, start. But basically that's that um, design aspect. And then if I want to, I can just uh, export this whole thing, everything in the design as an STL, and that'll create a um, 3D print or an OBJ. Um, what I found, if I want to take this uh, scribble and I want to make it an SVG, what I found I had to do was ungroup everything. Um, and I, I went ahead and, and uh, turned the visibility off of this base. And then the scribble, I made it back to a solid. And uh, then I can group everything together. And that made the SVG file. The SVG I could export into a program like uh, Illustrator. And that gives me these trace lines. I can use these trace lines to cut um, you know, acrylic or MDF or some uh, thin plywood. So that's an option. And I can also. Uh, use that 3d print export file and so I can put this 3d print maze so there's how you can use SketchUp to create a little maze hope you enjoyed that tutorial and good luck <laughs>